Assalamu alaikum, peace be with you. Thank you for joining me for this continuing discussion on 30 reasons for being Muslim. The reason I want to explore today is that Islam is about justice. Did you ever see someone doing something wrong and you said to yourself, there ought to be a law against that? <laughs> well, you're not alone. The human beings at the very core uh, want to see justice done. And one of the good reasons for being Muslim is that Islam does have a law about that. Islam does have laws and regulations, but more so, uh, Islam has the core principle that justice should be done. And uh, being a good Muslim means being just and fair and balanced and being good to everyone. So that's a good reason for being Muslim. It gives Muslims that great satisfaction that uh, our inner core is represented in our religious practices and our thinking. So now if you step back from, is from Islam for a moment and we see the bigger picture, we see that there is a problem out there. Uh, human beings uh, do want to see justice. Everybody like us want to see fairness and balance and so on. From the time we are kids, uh, we know that if a cake is uh, cut up into slices, we need to get at least uh, a fair share. Uh, it doesn't matter if we get a bigger share, but we want to make sure at least that we're not shortchanged. If we're shortchanged, we feel that some injustice has been done. Even if someone grows up to be a thief, uh, even the thief recognizes if somebody steals uh, from them that some injustice has been done. And they're, you know, they're, it's not so much that the loss of the money that, uh, they, are that they are worrying about, but they do not like the idea that some injustice has been done, at least to them. We see that people more generally um, uh, crave justice. They, they want to see justice and fairness. Uh, and what is uh, interesting is that as much as we want to see that in the world, we want to see that in our religious faith systems as well. And uh, some faiths uh, speak uh, a lot of good things, but uh, very little about justice in this world. Take, for example, the idea of karma, which basically means that uh, you will reap in your next life uh, whatever you have done in this life. So good or bad, you will reap the results in the next life. Well, that's a good idea that is represented in Islam in a different way without the idea of reincarnation. Uh, but what about the justice in this life? So, okay, you'll reap the rewards in another life, but what should you do about this life here and now? Take the idea of nirvana, which is about uh, everlasting bliss as your soul leaves this um, world and, you know, unites with uh, the universal soul or something like that. Well, that's a nice idea too. Uh, I mean, who can argue with everlasting bliss? Um, and Islam has the idea of everlasting bliss in the life hereafter. Not the same concept, but the same uh, basic uh, resulting uh, virtue. But what about justice in this life? So Islam does actually speak a lot about justice in this life. First, as a matter of principle, Islam tells us that uh, God loves those who are just. So in the Quran, uh, Surah 49, verse number 9, the Quran says, In Allah yuhibbul muqsitin, God loves those who are just. The same idea is re re repeated in Surah 60, verse number 8. And so we find that this is a recurrent theme in the, in the Quran. The Quran tells us to stand up for justice. For example, in the fourth chapter, in the 135th uh, verse, Ya uh, amanu, O you who believe, Qumu bil Christi shohada alillah, be upholders of justice as witnesses for Allah. And uh, the same idea is represented in Surah 5, verse number 8. Uh, almost the identical wording uh, in, in a slightly different order, but meaning roughly the same thing, that we are to stand up for justice. Surah 57, called Surah Al-Hadid in the Quran, has an interesting verse, which is verse number 25. Interesting because we might think often that uh, God sent his prophets and his scriptural revelations in order to teach us how to go to heaven, right? And that's, that's not wrong. That's, that's true. Uh, but very, a very important aspect of what they taught is about how we are to establish justice in this land. And uh, so we find that verse number 25 of Surah 57 tells us that God sent prophets uh, with uh, clear evidence and he revealed to them the scripture and the mizan, which means the balance. The Yakum and Nasu will Christ show that so that human beings will establish justice. So that means that the, the, the whole idea of God sending prophets and scriptures into the world to guide human beings is so that human beings, as a result, will establish justice on the land. Not only does Islam speak about uh, justice in a theoretical level, but it gives us practical recommendations and guidance and laws in order that uh, justice will be established. So there are laws and regulations and principles 
uh, to ensure that parents are just to their children, that children are fair to their parents, that spouses are fair to each other, that neighbors treat each other with love, respect, and harmony, re uh, recognizing the rights of each other, and uh, that we are balanced and fair to people in our societies and to the world. Moreover, Islam enjoins upon us that we take care of all of God's creatures. As much as we have a duty to God, we have a duty to God's creation as well. We have to look after, nurture, care for, and at least not harm God's uh, environment and his uh, creation. So Muslims, by being fair and just, uh, they feel that uh, they are holistically at one. Their inner core is calling out for justice and their religious teachings, their worldview within their faith also is about justice. And so there is a match and uh, one feels holistic and satisfied. So that's a very good reason I believe, for being Muslim. What difference does it make to us and the world? Well, as individuals, it makes us better persons. It makes us uh, more conscious about justice. It makes us more ready to go out and, and perform a random acts of kindness to ensure that justice is done to everyone. It also makes sure that our world is a better place because as Muslims you become more socially active, knowing that this is a part of their faith as much as it is a part of our faith to pray and fast and and so on as we are fasting in Ramadan. It is also a part of our faith uh, to stand up for justice for the sake of God. And so when Muslims become so active for establishing justice as the Surah 4 of verse 135 prescribes, uh, then we are becoming better Muslims and we're making the world a better place. Thank you for watching and join me tomorrow again for another reason for being a Muslim. Peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. The most effective and far-reaching da'wah we can do these days is on social media. That's why we're developing the Muslim Media Hub. We're harnessing the power of media to spread the message of Islam. Please support this project at QuranSpeaks.com and share in the reward from God.